All right, coming up next, it's a welterweight matchup between Steven Thompson and Anthony Showtime Pettis. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight, they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Nice punch there. They're certainly getting after it early. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Ooh, he landed a huge hook there. Just misses with the punch by Pettis. Big punch lands through the middle. Missed with that right hand. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. He's got to whip his hip into that kick. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Anthony Pettis. That one snuck in. Nice right. Left punch followed by a right. Nice one-two there by Thompson. Well, Pettis' knee is blocked. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Oh, straight right. Oh, big left. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Slips to avoid the right. Can't take many of those. You better check. Well, Pettis' lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. All right, so what a round it was for him, particularly when it comes to those body kicks, DC. Landed those body kicks every single time he threw them. Every time he decided body kick is going to be the strike, it landed. His opponent needs to do something different, or this fight is not going to last much longer. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. All right, so 43 total strikes have now landed for Steven Thompson. Well, not the greatest land percentage necessarily. 37% the accuracy thus far against Anthony Pettis. Pettis' strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Knee to the body. Oh, straight right. Back and forth we go. Oh, nice high kick. 
Ooh, blocks the shot. Man. Right there, his opponent's wobble chair. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. Big knee there to the chest. An uppercut knee. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't... Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, coming up next, it is a welterweight showdown between Leon Edwards and Anthony Showtime Pettis. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, here we go. Round one, outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight, champ? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's 
going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. Nice strike. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Back and forth we go! He loaded up on that right hand, too. And oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves his coach. Go finish his fight. Venice gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, straight right! Oh, beautiful strike in there by Leon Edwards. He has really become a well-rounded welterweight. You saw in the Gunnar Nelson fight how good his wrestling defense was. Leon Edwards is a real problem, we see. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Liver kick. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Anthony Showtime Pettis. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Pettis. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. It's such a fast leg kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh! And now he lands a combination! Strong Round two for winding down. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it. All right, here we go with the start of round two. Leon Edwards versus Anthony Pettis. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And he landed the right hand there. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. DC didn't... It's perfectly, perfect placement, perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Nice one-two there. 53 total strikes have landed for Anthony Pettis. Just below 50% now, landing with 47% accuracy against Leon. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left hook there. That punch, no good. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Right on the button. Three minutes. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Nice 
Nice kick there by him. Nice body kick. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh! He's out! Wow! What a performance! Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish.